Mineralogy is one of the more challenging classes that you're going to take as a geology student because it requires a lot of mineral identification, memorizing chemical formulas, and understanding optical properties. But don't cry because we're going to outline some good tips for you to follow in order to do well on your bell ringer exam. Step one, make the most of your lab time. Lab is there for a reason. Use your time effectively to talk to your professors, your friends, and your TAs. The more you look over the lab samples, the more your lecture material is going to make sense. Step two, identifying hand samples. So identifying minerals involves understanding their key characteristics, such as hardness, cleavage, crystal form and habit, uh, streak, and so on. And this is tested using various things like a hand lens, um, hydrochloric acid, streak plates, uh, your nails, and so on. For example, you can determine quartz versus halite based on a hardness test. Quartz has a hardness of 7, while halite has a hardness of 2.5. If you're pretty sure it's halite, don't hesitate to give it a lick. The best way to memorize all of these features and constantly go back to them is by making a mineral identification chart because this can be your holy grail when studying for a mineral exam. This popular example can be found on geology.com. It was created by Professor Art Crossman at Mansfield University. Step three, memorizing chemical formulas. During a mineral identification exam, you will have to know the chemical formulas of the minerals that you're looking at. They can get quite lengthy over time, so most labs will group them based on chemical similarities. These groups include silicates, oxides, sulfates, sulfides, carbonates, native elements, and halides. When focusing on each group, try to understand how the minerals are chemically similar. Do this by writing out the mineral name, its associated chemical formula, and the group it's a part of. And do this over and over again until you memorize it. It's going to suck, but this is gonna help you in the long run. And also when it comes to formulas that are very lengthy, use mnemonic devices to help you memorize them further. Try making your own. It doesn't matter how silly it sounds, as long as you remember it. If you're short on time, try websites like mnemonicdevice.com for some examples. Step four, use flashcards. Flashcards are a great memorization technique when trying to identify minerals. It's helpful to print out the pictures of the minerals and then put the key characteristics and chemical formula and groups on the back to help you memorize each mineral. Because each mineral quiz happens every week or two, you're gonna build onto each mineral group and there's gonna be a lot to identify at a time. So constantly reviewing these cue cards is gonna help you do well. Step five, using extra resources. When you're not in the lab with your hand samples, use websites and apps to help you study effectively. These include mindat.org, webmineral.com, Smart Geology Mineral Guide for Android and iPhone. Step six, study often and study smart. What's the chemical composition of halite? NaCl, good. If you leave your mineral identification quiz studying to the last minute, you're going to cry and you're not going to do well. So this means practice very often, visit the lab as often as possible and work with the hand samples, use your flashcards and notes, and also make sure to seek out the professors if you have any difficulties. Practice always makes perfect and this is exactly what you need when you have to go and write a bell ringer exam. Thanks for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content and leave us a comment down below. Geology Gals out.